Right, I'm going to show you with a can this time. A cup, but also the emphasis on the cocky. Just how this is so important to help your Taijutsu. I'm um, just going to show you. When performed correctly with a cocky, it's quite intensive. You can't do a lot of cuts. If you're able to do a lot of cuts in the 50s or 100, then perhaps you're not focusing enough with the cocky filling. Because when you put the cocky filling, it's mentally quite draining. It's very precise and the feeling is with the can is get this feeling and this feeling very strong when you do touch with you I know uncle Cook your feeling. When you do cook your feeling, you breathe out, and there's a compression of the center, and there's a key eye coming out. Now, with a key eye, I'm still learning it. And I'm not saying my ki is correct. It's still something from here rather than shouting Ay! Oh! Ay! Not from here. Um, it's definitely something from here. So you breathe out. Ay! Ay! I found this part quite difficult because you have to get it right and I know there's an inside feeling from here so it goes as long as you do it from here it comes out and I think you get in somewhere but if you do the key eye with the vocals from here no feeling from here I, I, I. No, that's not that. It's got to be something that it feels from the center. Then, yes, I think maybe the key eye helps to really sharpen your cocky, the stance, the spirit, everything in one. And then you have what we call the shime, right at the end. It's a very hard thing to do. Even, even for me, I'm still practicing the shime. So, there. What 
I find interesting about this filling is when you're doing the cut, it's not just finishing. It actually continues, 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 continues. This filling continues. So when you do turn the ankle, the same thing. It's not stopping here. It's got a feeling of continuing, 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 continuing. It's moving, 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 very slowly. Why did I drop you? Same feeling here. Continuing, continuing. It doesn't stop. It's just continuing slightly more, slightly more, slightly more. It's hard to explain, but it's definitely a feeling of extension, a feeling of moving a bit more than stopping. It's it's still moving, moving, moving. That feeling the cut. Moving, 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 moving. So it has a feeling of even, perhaps not, but the feeling is going out there, going out there without moving our body. But the sensation is doing this, doing this, doing this, doing this. That's my understanding of it. It's, it's not punk, and that's it. Punk. It's more. Uh, it's still moving, moving, moving. So I hope you can see what I'm trying to say. It's different to this if you do time on ankle. Ay. Stop. No. It's a sensation from inside that gives you that feeling of expanding continuously. In fact, the shimmy makes you go for more, as opposed to stopping and then deal with the next stopping. <laughs> so you might be seeing it's stopping, but the feeling is not. It's still expanding, expanding, ready for the next movement. Next movement. So as you have continuous. That feeling. What it mustn't be, stop, and then there is no inside feeling here anymore. It actually, you use that for the next one. So you have a much deeper internal feeling. Whatever weapons you do, especially with a jaw, is there is no sense of separation, so that feeling, there's no sense of separation, still together, 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 because this feeling, you're kind of linking from one movement to the next and so forth and so forth. It would be very different if you hadn't got the feeling, if you didn't have the feeling here. So there, stop, stop. Next movement, stop, stop, stop. Next movement, 
next movement. You can see the difference, the movements are executed separately. One, then next one, then next one. There is no interlink together. That interlink is done from here. So you need to keep the sense of feeling here. slowly that's the sense so in other words you're feeling the compression of the hips more that compression helps your shime root it from the feet um, so when you do the cut same thing in here Strong feeling, cocky compression. Cocky comes along. That's how you find the power. And that power wouldn't be found without the Ken or the jaw. More so with the Ken. The Ken is the heart of Aikido, as Andy Hathaway says uh, many times when we practice Pukiwaza. And I'm sure Sato Sensei says the same thing. The heart of Aikido. Without it, you would be doing a physical like it all, thinking it's just what the hand do. So therefore, you're thinking it's all there. But actually, it's way more here. Way more here than arms. So, you drop. Cocky, cocky. There's a lot more feeling to that. Um, I hope this video has helped you to see what I'm trying to convey because it's a very difficult thing to explain actually it's very internal and I'm still learning from it and it will continue doing the same process you never get the, the feeling that you're mastering it um, we're a beginner at a different level so I see myself as a beginner at a different level and every time I think I know this then suddenly I will have a horizon opening up and I think that's the best way to have a mindset when you want to practice and genuinely learn never sort of feel yes I've got it I know how to do it there's always something that you can learn it could be a small details it could be an even big detail but uh, Accept that you are continuously learning, no matter what. And with that in mind, it really helps to progress further and make your Aikido go to the higher level, continuously higher level, higher level. Um, to me, that's how I think, and that's how I study uh, Aikido. Always to get a feel of the cocky the compression of the hips and I use in the body and there's a lot more to it but thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see any more videos